Well, looky who just came back to town. <laughs> Good old Harry. Well, aren't we so lucky up here in British Columbia to have Megan and Harry living up here? Wow, isn't that great? Except for how much it's gonna cost. So apparently Harry just came back from England after he gave up his royal title and uh, some of that money. So now he's got a freeload off Canada and uh, apparently it's gonna cost $10 million a year for security arrangements. That's my main concern. I really don't care who comes to visit here in Canada as long as you're not a convicted felon. Don't really care. If you're not causing any trouble, come on up. But here's the deal. This guy has no legal immigration status here and neither does she. She's got to wait in line just like the rest of us who immigrated to Canada. You're only allowed six months here, buddy. <laughs> And uh, they're living in this beautiful mansion. Oh, I gotta show you the mansion. It's, it's quite exquisite, actually. Nobody knows who's paying for that. And if one of their friends who's rumored to let them use that, uh, I don't think the hospitality's gonna last forever. You can't freeload forever now, can ya? Are we going to pay the security costs for them if they come here? That is part of the reflection that needs to be, needs to be had, and, and there are discussions going on. So we're not sure yet about where all that will land? We're not entirely sure what the final decisions will be, where the dispositions are, and those are, those are decisions for them. Uh, I think uh, most Canadians are very supportive of, of having, uh, having you know, royals be here, but uh, how that looks and what kind of costs is involved, there's still lots of discussions to have. Yeah. So they did pick the Victoria area, and I love that area. I lived there for seven years. As you guys that have followed me for a while, you, you see me in Victoria every year or so. It's a great place to live. But guess what? When I go, I pay for my own way, just like these damn royals should. And what about their health care insurance? Are they paying for their own insurance? Canadian free health care doesn't apply to people that are coming here to visit or stay that have no status. These people got to pay for their own health care. They got to pay for their own security. Canada doesn't mind paying for security when you come to visit and you're a head of state. Heck, even if the governor from Washington state comes up, we do give them security and we pay for it. But that's for visitors. If you're going to come up here to live, guess what, buddy? It's time for you to pay. And Canadians are tired of paying for this kind of stuff. The only person that can legally move to Canada without getting in line is Her Majesty the Queen. And she even has more sense not to wear out her welcome here because she's the queen. And that's why she hasn't handed over <laughs> any power to Mr. Big Ears, her son yet, because she knows he's an idiot. But what can you do? The queen's got her problems and we've got her problems now here in Canada with uh, good old Harry and Meghan freeloading off the Canadians. Uh, shame, shame, shame. So if I was to have a beer with uh, good old Harry at the local pub, I'd say, Harry, come on. Open the wallet. Your mom, when she died, she left an estate. You can pay for your own security. Or how about live without it? <laughs> like the rest of us. So let's close this off with more views of this wonderful estate that they're staying at on the Saanich Peninsula, just north of Victoria. Oh, wow, how lovely it is. I'll bet the only people that are excited about Meghan and Harry coming to Canada are all the police officers who are gonna get overtime work <laughs> and ain't that the truth hey in the meantime folks stay safe keep your woes in the ground i'll talk to you soon